All right, I got this guy all set up here on my turner. And actually, I've got two of them side by side. I'm gonna do these one at a time. And this time, this one is ready to shine. Hey, I didn't mean to rhyme. Oh gosh, I did it three times. <laughs> Howdy, howdy, this is Claire Lawrence. Okay, so we're gonna break in my new cup turner. I kind of treated myself, been working hard lately. So we're going to put some resin on this guy. I've got uh, electrical tape on the top of this. I've sealed it up and this is alcohol ink on here. There's another video uh, out there out there in the world with with me doing this piece and and that one too uh so we're gonna do clear coat on this i've got a bunch of different colors here handy uh just a lot of shears uh some white some gold things like that that i might be playing with um i'm still learning this process so i'm gonna bring you guys along with me and let's have some fun all right let's see now let me see if i can zoom in a little bit more yeah, I think that'll work. You can see what I'm adding to it as I'm going along. Center it up a little bit. I like seeing what's added and hopefully my hand, my big old hand doesn't block the view. All right, so this has got apparently most turners and I didn't realize that when you turn it on, it goes one way and you turn it off and you turn it back on. And of course it's not gonna do that. There it goes, it goes the other direction. I don't know why yet. So if anybody out there that's watching this and does cup turning, let me know. <laughs> Cause I'm curious, why, why the change in direction? Is it just a matter of personal preference or what? I don't know. So I found these things through people who were doing cup turning and I used them mostly with resin and painting with resin and the different pigments and paste and stuff like that and actually painting on my trays and I love them. So now I finally get to use them for this purpose. So, all right. So I've already been, I've already got some uh, resin mixed up here and this is stone coat, art coat resin. And I have literally had this stuff sitting in a cup. What is this? 60 minutes? Uh oh, I just realized something. I've got nothing on underneath this thing. Yikes, I got a naked board. See, I told you I'm new to this stuff. Hold, please. Ah! <laughs> it's gonna drip all over. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I've got some uh, sheets of parchment paper that are already kind of uh, pre cut to fit in baking sheets. I, sorry, just bumped the camera there. Um, so I'm going to put that right there and that'll help if it drips at all. And I think I might even put something underneath it right at this level here. So that way it creates a, I wonder if maybe one of my trays would work better. I don't know. I'm going to leave that for there for right now. Okay. So all I'm doing here is just putting a thin layer of resin over this piece. For now. So uh, what I was saying is this is stone coat, art coat resin. And it's known to have a really long working time. So I think I'm on a little over an hour right now. And hopefully it's gotten nice and thick that it'll work with the tumblers really well. In theory. Hopefully. Hopefully I'm not adding too much here. We will find out.
So what I've done here is on my electric tape, I left a little tag so I can come back here in about, oh, I don't know, maybe a couple hours and peel that tape away. I have to let that come around again and peel that tape off so it'll get a nice clean edge to that. Hopefully it's coming around. There it is. I think I know now why they like the brush. It really does uh, fit the cups really nicely with that curved edge to it. So my uh, buddy Erica, Artist Till Death, decided to do some cups and she did some with alcohol ink and it was like, okay, you know how you get a little bug every so often because you see somebody do something, it's like, ha oh, I gotta do that. And I was kind of wondering about doing alcohol inks with them because I'd seen them before and it was just like, that was all the, the nudge I needed was just that little bit of seeing my buddy doing it, it's like, yeah, I'm going for it, forget it. So she inspired me at this point. I think we inspire each other a lot of times too. It's a good, it's a good friendship. It's good having an art buddy. I have a house full of a engineer, computer type. I guess we're all kind of computer type people nowadays, but, um, Definitely into the computer programming, uh, gaming world. So, me being an artist, I'm kind of like, you know, an odd duck in the house. And so it's nice to hang out with people with like-minded, with like-minded people. Especially Erica and Jeff and my other art buddies. Like, you see me hang out with Tish, too, on her channel. And Scarlett and Carrie. I miss these people. I want to I wanna see these people again. Hopefully this vaccine will help out. We'll have to see. Okay, so I have got some grumpy here. So I'm going to lay in some stripes occasionally. And grumpy is a chameleon uh, pigment from Artist Till Death. It's one of their Tooth Face lines. And Grumpy has, I think, shifting properties of blue and purple. And so this has got some really dark tones in here, so it ought to be really pretty in that. I'm just going to let it do its magic. Let's see, what else can I throw at it? Ha ha. Moo ha ha. All right, and this is abalone. This is really pretty. It's got very fine micas in it with a whole range of colors. Not exactly like a chameleon, but I don't know. But it's still really pretty. I bet it would pair up nicely with most, most things. All right, I'm gonna do a tiny bit of white. because I want some accent in here. And I know I don't have the base part here colored. I'm just gonna pretend like it is. Put a little bit there, just to see what happens. And then I'm gonna get a little bit of grumpy. 
Just kind of mess around with that. There we go. Oh, it'll twirl. Okay. So last color I think I'm gonna throw in there. Oh, it's right in front of me. Duh. I've got some gold. I'm gonna do see if I can do some dim lines here. the gold specifically to get it to kind of do its blooming thing where it comes to the center or the surface and it looks like um, kind of like gold flake a little bit right, so we can get the white to move just a little bit Let's see what happens hopefully I didn't overdo it uh, probably did. Oh, I got a big old. <laughs> Whoops. I just ran my dragon through it. Okay. Can you tell them all thumbs with this? Let's see. There we go. All right, we're just gonna let this keep on going. I think we're good. Let me bring you in for a close-up. Now you pros out there are probably shaking your head at me going, oh, she added too much. Yeah, I probably did. There's a lot of fluid stuff going on here, but it does look really pretty. So we'll see what this looks like. I'm gonna have a reveal video, let this keep on going for a while because I got the other ones to work on. And if this needs another coat, it's just gonna get a clear coat. So I'll leave this like it is. I'm kind of happy with the way it's going though. So this ought to be interesting what it does right here. We'll see. Later, y'all. All right, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, but definitely hit the bell to get notified. Next time, put a video up. Oh, crud. I just saw a bubble. I can hit the bubble. <laughs> anyway, check the links in the description below for any supplies I use, as well as Artist Till Death, because that's where I get all my resin colors and stuff. Um, also, the link for my Etsy store. Go buy some stuff. Later, y'all.